Hi, this is uh, Eric with uh, another survival medicine. Uh, today we're going to talk about influenza. Um, again, the disclaimer is that this information is for when you find yourself in a situation where there's no doctor available. Um, uh, not meant to uh, replace um, standard medical information. So we're trying the whiteboard today. So the first question is, what is it? Uh, so when we talk about the flu, this is a virus. So what's important about a virus? The virus are not affected by antibiotics. You can't give antibiotics and make a virus better. There's actually very few viruses that we have any treatment for. Um, fortunately, influenza is one of them that we do have a treatment for. Uh, this is spread by respiratory transmission as well as touch contact. So if you touch a virus particle that's on a desk um, or any kind of object and then uh, get it into yourself, uh, that can inoculate it. The incubation period is about two days, so between getting exposed to the virus and starting to uh, develop symptoms is about two days. Uh, and then the outbreaks that occur, and we're, uh, this is now February of 2010. Uh, February is a very common month for a, an influenza outbreak. We just finished with the H1N1, or what some people refer to as the swine flu, uh, back in the end of 2009. Uh, we still see a few cases of that, but it's kind of sort of flared out. Now, influenza virus, uh, I, I just mentioned H1N1. I, we can talk a little bit about that. There are H subtypes and N subtypes, and these represent surface proteins on the virus itself. Now the H, um, there's you know a one, a two, and a three, and with the N, there's you know a one and a two, uh, and these are the ones that are usually seen in uh, humans. Now, if you talk about what flu viruses exist in terms of the animal population as well, there's a 16 of the H subtypes and 9 of the N subtypes. Um, so these can be seen both in avian species, swines, a variety of different things, and they sort of commingle and they share genetic information, and that's how they sort of mutate and spread. So we're dealing with a virus. Antibiotics don't fix it, um, but there are some antiviral treatments we'll talk about in a little bit. So question number two is how do I diagnose the flu? So DX is our symbol for diagnosis. How do we diagnose the flu? Well, if we talk about the World Health Organization, uh, the World Health Organization and the CDC both have uh, definitions of the flu. So according to the World Health Organization, it's, um, and this is off their website, it's seasonal influenza. It's characterized by a sudden onset of high fever, cough, which is usually dry, headache, muscle and joint pain, and severe malaise, which is just a, a feeling of, I don't feel good, I feel sick, uh, sore throat and runny nose. Uh, so if you look at those symptoms, again, you know, you've got fever, headache, muscle soreness, the um, cough, which is, like I said, typically dry, uh, joint pain, and something, again, malaise. Malaise, which is just a, I don't feel good, I feel sick feeling. Um, one of the other characteristics of influenza is it's a fairly sudden onset. Uh, typically when I talk to my patients, uh, they'll say, you know, I was feeling fine at noon, and by 2 o'clock, it hit me like a ton of bricks. So this fairly sudden onset of these types of symptoms uh, is fairly characteristic. Now, according to the CDC, uh, their definition, again, this you can find this off their website, it, it's a uncomplicated influenza illness is characterized by abrupt onset 
of constitutional and respiratory signs and symptoms. For example, fever, myalgia, which is muscle aches, headache, malaise, nonproductive cough, sore throat, and rhinitis, which is runny nose. Among children, uh, otitis media, which is an ear infection, nausea and vomiting are also common. Um, uncomplicated influenza uh, typically resolves after three to seven days for the majority of persons, although cough and malaise can persist for more than two weeks. Um, so CDC adds nausea and vomiting uh, with kids as well as otitis media, which is ear infection. Uh, and again, this is mostly seen in kids, according to the CDC, uh, but many times I've seen adults also complaining of nausea and vomiting as part of their influenza constellation. Now, if you look at this fever, headache, muscle soreness, dry cough, malaise, nausea, vomiting, otitis media, let's add runny nose, Now, this can be a little bit of a problem because this can be associated with a lot of other illnesses. All right, If you've got meningitis in the early stages, it can look very similar to this. Um, you know, even things like anthrax and plague, you know, some of these disaster bioterrorism things that we talked about, early on it can look exactly like the flu. So the flu can look like a lot of different stuff. In fact, every year during flu season, there's always going to be some child that's diagnosed with the flu that within 24 or 48 hours dies uh, with meningitis uh, because it's going to be impossible to detect meningitis if it's too early on and it looks just like this without having other symptoms to make you uh, suggest meningitis. We can't do a spinal tap on every single kid that comes into the emergency department uh, or a, a doctor's office with these same symptoms. Um, and so we know that uh, it's going to be impossible and we're going to miss a case. It's, uh, some, one of my uh, colleagues once said it's looking for a needle in a stack of needles. So the flu can be diagnosed with a lot of other diseases that are early on in their presentation. But in a typical flu season, with everybody else having the flu, if you have a sudden onset of these symptoms, that's fairly suggestive that you have influenza or the flu. All right, if you do have it, what can we do about it? And I just feed it, finished treating my son for influenza. Um, he did not have the nausea and vomiting though. Well, there are a few antiviral drugs. Again, this is a virus, it's not a bacteria. Um, so one of the drugs that you hear about is Tamiflu. Um, the generic name is also Tamivir. Tamiflu is the uh, um, the brand name that you hear about. And so, uh, this is Sparky. Hello, Sparky. The uh, so Tamiflu. How do you die, uh, how do you treat this? Uh, or how, I'm sorry, how do you dose this? For an adult, it's easy. So adults, what they get is they get 75 milligrams two times a day, two times per day, for five days. So uh, the tablets come in a 75 milligram strength. You take one of those twice a day for five days, and that's all you have to do to take um, or to treat a flu using Tamiflu.